So this is adding complex fractions. What I want to remind you is this. This is what we want. We want to put this in the form of a true complex fraction, which is A over B divided by C over D. The complex fraction theorem says this, Ryan, that if we have this, we can rewrite it as A over B times D over C. So what we do here is just at the bottom, we just take the reciprocal of the bottom, all right? So look how this would work. I'm going to work from the denominator of the, I'm going to work from this bottom denominator first, and I'm going to try to clean all this up. So this one right here, Ryan, if you don't mind, I'm just going to switch it out to 2 over 2. Is that all right? So I'll rewrite that as 3 over 2. Isn't that right? So look at this just for a second. I'm going to take this one here, because what I'm trying to get is this form right here, Killian. So this one right here is the same as 1 over 1, isn't it? Don't touch anything. Is equal to 2 and 2 thirds. Ready? Ready? You see how that happened? Yeah, this thing comes up like this, doesn't it? So all I'm doing is change it to complex fraction form. Remember, a lot of times in algebra, especially calculus, mixed numbers don't work great. Stay away from decimals, Chloe. So here I'm just going to change this 2 times, I'm sorry, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. I'm going to change this answer to 8 thirds. Is that okay? So here's example 2. Example two. Example two look like this. Same idea, just a little bit more complicated. Two plus one over one plus. Check me out here. One over two plus two thirds. Right. Key here is start as far down as possible. So let's see if we can get this piece cleaned up here. Okay, Mr. Girls, get this piece cleaned up, then try to simplify it to this piece, simplify this piece, and add it together. Is that all right? So what are you going to trade this two in for? Six thirds. You're going to trade this in for what? Eight thirds. Hopefully what you're seeing in your brain right now is this, isn't it? So this is going to, so what's this going to come up as? It's going to come up as 3 eighths. 3 eighths, right? Going to do what with this, Ryan? It is, but I want to be able to add this and this. Yeah, change it to 8 over 8, right? So we have common denominators. This comes up as, this turns into 11 eighths, doesn't it? So 11 eighths, 11 eighths. Then this turns to what? Right? Because now, I'm looking at this like this now. So that's a complex fraction form. So this is going to come up this way. You're going to multiply 8 over 11 times 1 over 1. It's going to give you, so you're going to get 2 plus 8 over 11. This is going to turn this into what? 22 elevenths, that's the same as 2, equals 30 elevenths. <clears throat> All good? Good work.